Dr. Archana. I am uh, the consultant in uh, pediatric infectious disease at uh, Manipal Hospitals, Old Airport Road, and uh, Whitefield, Bangalore. So, amidst this uh, COVID-19 infection, everybody is running through the difficulties, of which children with chronic medical conditions and chronic surgical conditions are going through the difficulties even more. So, I am here to address few of the concerns of these children and how it can be tackled. There are many children with chronic conditions like chronic lung disorders or uh, congenital heart diseases or anybody with diabetes uh, and many people with primary immunodeficiencies who cannot come for their regular follow-up and cannot come for their regular updation of medications from the uh, regular concepts. And there are many uh, kids who have to uh, you know, postpone their elective procedures surgeries during this uh, lockdown period to protect themselves from the COVID-19 infections. But the, these kids are actually in more risk of acquiring the COVID-19 infection. So it is always better to postpone the elective procedures in these kids. And especially like for the children who have to undergo surgeries for uh, congenital heart disease or elective procedures, it could be even a circumcision or anything, it is better to uh, actually we have postponed the surgery and uh, suppose if the children have to get their medications upgraded or uh, if they need a consult uh, like especially the chronic lung diseases and chron chronic heart diseases uh, then actually Manipal hospitals provides the teleconsultation facilities for these uh, children from the respective specialty doctors so uh, such children can avail these uh, facilities and uh, they can uh, get even the prescriptions from the uh, respective specialty doctors so that uh, you can buy those uh, medications and keep them in stock for the next two weeks at least. And uh, the other things are that try not to venture out during this uh, period as much as possible because these kids are at higher risk when compared to uh, the other uh, normal kids. So other precautions which can be taken to avoid uh, the COVID-19 infections are social distancing even within the family, at least uh, from those people who are uh, those adults, especially who are venturing out to buy the groceries, from them better to social distance, that is uh, it is uh, called as a you know, protective uh, social distancing of the child from those um, uh, uh, adults. And other than that, you can encourage these children to uh, follow the hand washing uh, precautions. Uh, you can encourage them to uh, you know, sing a rhyme like it could be a happy birthday song and then do the hand washing technique so they also will do, the, do it uh, happily. Other than that, uh, if the child has to come out for any emergency purpose, then please uh, do provide the child with a cloth mask and then get the child outside. So uh, these are the precautions which you can uh, follow and uh, if the child has to be brought for some emergency visits to the hospital, kindly call your respective uh, pediatrician or the specialist doctor and inform them priorly so that the necessary arrangements are made in the hospital for the safe examination of the uh, child so that the COVID patients and any other infected patients are not allowed during that particular period and also the waiting time for the consultation can be made to the uh, minimal uh, waiting time so that the consultation can be made fast and the child can be sent home safely. So other than this, even with all these precautions, suppose if the child develops uh, the infection, these are the symptoms you have to look out for, especially for any fever, cough, cold, running nose or some children even present with diarrhea that is new stools or uh, body aches and headache. If the child presents with any of these symptoms, kindly inform the pediatrician and get back to the hospital and uh, these are the symptoms you have to look out for and kindly follow all the uh, lockdown uh, orders which have been uh, given by the government and the regulations given by the government and please stay safe.